New allegations this morning link North Korea to the war in Syria. The accusations come directly from the United Nations. A new report says North Korea has been providing equipment that could be used to make chemical weapons. Derek Stoffel joins us now with more on this story from Tel Aviv. Derek, take us through what the UN report says. Well, for years now, the Syrian government has been accused by monitoring groups, uh, other governments, of using chemical weapons against its own people. Even just in the last week or so, on Sunday, there were reports that several people became ill after a chlorine attack in eastern Ghouta. Well, now we have the United Nations weighing in and saying that North Korea has been providing some of the equipment that the Syrians have been using to produce chemical weapons. They say that there's a equipment such as heat sensitive tiling, that there are valves and other equipment that could be used in a laboratory setting. Uh, and the United Nations report also says that there are about 40 shipments between North Korea and Syria. And one last thing that the UN says is that known missile experts from North Korea were seen at various sites within Syria. Now, this is a report done by UN experts who are there to monitor UN sanctions on North Korea. The report, uh, their work has not been made public, but it has been seen by a, a journalist from uh, the BBC and the New York Times. And there is no word from the United Nations whether this report will be made public. Supposed to be in place. How is that going? Well, it's not going very well. That's the latest word from inside Syria. The second day of this five-hour pause orchestrated by the Russians. And there were reports earlier today of more strikes and clashes in the eastern Ghouta area uh, uh, near Damascus, near the capital Damascus. Uh, we also heard today from Russia's foreign minister. Sergei Lavrov is in Geneva speaking before a UN human rights body there. And he accused the rebel groups on the ground of being the ones who are blocking the aid from getting into Syria and also, he says that they are stopping civilians, stopping people from leaving the area. But at the same time, Lavrov uh, maintained that Moscow will continue to back Syria's army uh, against the fight, against what he called the terrorist fight. So uh, sort of buying in more that we have now have, the, you know, the Russians are saying that they're going to stick with this. Uh, at the same time that monitoring groups say, are saying that to, you know, can people continue to die even though there is supposed to be this pause in place to get humanitarian supplies in. The CBC's Derek Stoffel with the latest on the war in Syria. Thank you.